Well, I finally got a new bottle to review, and it's the Bernheim Barrel Proof Wheat Whiskey. This is the B923, coming in at 120.4 proof. We're going to review it, and then we're going to compare it to the A123 that come out earlier this year. Let's pour them up. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Saucy Shane. Welcome back to another whiskey review. I finally got a new bottle to review, and it's the Bernheim Barrel Proof Wheat Whiskey from Heaven Hill Distillery. This is the 9 B923. They release these twice a year. I didn't think they were ever going to release another one, but this one come out. I don't think a lot of people has heard about it, so I figured I'd jump on this review. This bad boy comes in at 120.4 proof at 60.2% APV for your mathematicians. Non-age stated, but from what I understand on the website, they're anywhere batched from 7 to 9 years. I tried a little bit of it at the store earlier, and I was blown away. I hadn't had the A batch in a while, but we will compare it at the end of this video to see the difference. The A batch does come in a little bit lower proof, but we'll get into that later. Like I said, a little bit I tried and, and everybody I tried it with at work earlier, they were pretty impressed with this and I was too. So without further ado, we're gonna get this on the nose on the front. I do like how, just like the A batch, it's got the mash bill on it. So it's 51% wheat, 37% corn, 12% malted barley. I do like that. MSRP around 60, 65 dollars, something like that. So it's got a beautiful color to it, real dark. Nice legs, clean into the glass. Give it the old classic roll on the table. And I will say, pardon the, any kind of focusing issues. I'm dealing with a new phone, who this? So it's a little bit high, more high tech of a camera on this thing. What I'm used to, old Saucy's used to. I'm a backwoods redneck, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it kind of wants to do a little funky things. But anyway, dealing with some issues, I wanted to review this whiskey and get it on out there. So that's what we're doing. So, got the color, very nice color, nice legs on the glass. Like I said, it comes in 120.4 proof. So let's get it on the nose. It's fruity, it's oaky. Getting a lot of creme brulee. I'm getting a, like a cherry Dr. Pepper on it. For a barrel proof whiskey, you get no ethanol on the nose whatsoever. It's nothing but sugary, sweet, a little bit of oak dances out of there. It's a beautiful nose. Let's get it on the palate. That cherry Dr. Pepper is there. Like I said, no ethanol. Man, that's that's so thick. Ooh, that's what she said. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Heavy on the vanilla. Like I said, good creme brulee oak balance this is a good one this is a really good one i can't wait to see what it does to this a123 but i think this this bad boy may sneak into my top five top ten whiskey of the year i hadn't been able to get a whole lot of good whiskey so it may be a maybe another top five list for old saucy in the year but that's fine very nice finish on it we'll get a third sip It coats the tongue so nice. It's the back of the the back of the palate with that cherry Dr. Pepper. As it finishes, you're getting a lot of nutmeg, some sweet sugary oak. Like I said, if it's non-age state and it says seven to nine years, this has got to be on the higher end of the nine-year age blended in this because it's it tells its tail on the as far as oakiness. The sweetness, the, the well balance that it's got, it's very complex. It hits all kind of different notes. I just got this bad boy today. I poured a two ounce sample. We tried it earlier. This glass is poured out of it. I think it's only gonna get better with time. We'll get a fourth sip and we're gonna rank this bad boy and then we're gonna compare it to the A123. A lot of cherry, a lot of vanilla. Butterscotch is starting to come out of there. A little bit of leather. Ooh, I'm gonna pour a little bit more in the glass. Nice little squeaky cork pop. Just so we can have a little bit in the glass to compare with that A123. 
This is an exceptional pour to me. This is going to take, it's definitely going to slip into my top five, especially for the price. I think I paid $60 for this thing, and that's in this today's market. It's hard to find anything barrel proof that tastes worth a damn for $60. This from Heaven Hill, this weeder, I love it. It's knocked it out of the park. This gets a score 8.8 .8 for old Saucy Shane today. That's a damn good pour. But next, we're going to pour this A123, and we're going to compare the two. All right, so we got the A123. This bad boy comes in at 118.8 .8 proof, so a little bit lower on the proof range. We're going to see how it compares. Like I said, it's been a while since I've had this. I'm going to give it a little SJ, as Matt Porter would say. Let it get a little air. Hadn't had this. Like I said, they're about, <laughs> like I got this today, and I got this up first of the year around February, something like that, March, February. And you see how much I've drank of it. So we'll see. Give it a little air. I'll go back to this B923. It's weird to me because usually my area, I've been able to get the larcenies real quick. I hadn't been able to get the C batch of the C923 of larceny this year. I hadn't been able to sniff the C batch of Elijah Craig. I got the B batch. I don't know what's happening. They're coming from the same damn distillery. It's kind of weird. But anyway, enough about that. That's my rant. Fix your damn dis distribution, fellas, ladies, whatever, people. So we're going back to this right here as I let this have a little air time. This, to me, reminds me of a larceny. I know larceny is a little bit heavier on the wheat. I mean, on the on the corn. This reminds me of a larceny product. And we're going back, we're going to this A123. Like I said, 118.8 .8 proof. To me, sitting here looking at them, it's got a little bit lighter color to it. Not by much. On the nose, you're getting way more of the wheat funk like you would on a maker's product, kind of a dairy product. Getting a little bit of ethanol. They're vastly different. They're vastly different on the nose. This smells like a high age, 10 plus year bourbon. Zero ethanol on it. And like I said, it comes in a higher proof. This one, it's still got a sweet nose, but you're getting a little bit of ethanol on it. You're getting just a little bit of that wheat funk, some cherry notes. Let's get it on the palate. It's the same mash bill, 51 wheat, 37 corn, 12 malted barley. It just tastes heavier on the wheat. It got heavy on the note, on the nose, on the wheat. The same on the palate. It kind of reminds me of an old elk product. Which is not bad, but it's heavier on the wheat profile on the A batch. Yeah, night and day. This B batch is fantastic. I don't even know if you can find these out there anymore. If you like that more of a wheat profile, this A batch is for you. If you like that more cherry sweetness, non-funk, a little bit older aged product, this is the way to go. Like I said, this is very comparable to a Larceny Barrel Proof in my opinion. Mm. It's fantastic. It slams at the door on it on the nose. The nose on it is fan freaking fantastic. But Without further ado, we're going to blend these two, and I'll let y'all be. I hope you enjoy this kind of content. If you do, smash that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, do all those great things, help grow the channel. We're trying to rock some videos out. I'm doing short videos, just trying to get some things edged out, and uh, just stick with me, and I got some more reviews coming to you, maybe some challenges, who knows. Got a top 10 list coming at the end of the year. Rise, finished whiskeys, bourbons, all that good stuff. So, thanks for watching, guys. Remember, stay safe out there. And until next time, stay saucy, but don't get too saucy. Drink responsibly and share with friends. Cheers. Keep rocking.